Okay. Um, what we have, you see the Raspberry Pi data logger, Raspberry Pi uh, 0W is underneath this uh, terminal block. We have a rooftop unit that's got some gremlins, some inconsistencies, and I haven't been able to catch it uh, act up per the uh, user's descriptions. Um, so all I had to do, um, I have eight separate inputs, and it's uh, generally as easy as taking my little wire harness, clip an alligator clip on the appropriate on the appropriate spade connector. Sometimes I use a piggyback. Um, sometimes uh, I might have to put out a wire nut if there's no connector. But I just need to connect this alligator clip somehow to the point that I want to monitor. I have two temperature sensors installed. Uh, Software-wise, ready to go. I'm only using one for this application. I've put the temperature sensor in the discharge uh, air path. And uh, Let's see, I ran an extension cord, so uh, I have an onboard power supply. It powers both my monitor and the little computer. I'm just going to turn this on now. It's going to take a minute to boot up. Uh, this old unit is behaving in a way that has me suspecting a couple of possibilities. Uh, but rather than go changing parts based on the customer's descriptions and my not verifying it in person, um, i.e. not watching it misbehave while I'm present, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this data logger on, and then I can walk away. I can monitor from here with this little computer, with this little screen. And if there is Wi-Fi present, if I need to leave a Wi-Fi hotspot up here, I might. But then I can monitor this from uh, the home office. Or out in the van where it's warm. Okay, so the program is running. It's not logging yet. I just have to flip... This switch right here, and as I do, you'll see. Okay, so there we go. All of our points currently are from left to right are relays one through eight. So I took the logger on its trial run, really as a test for the logger, because I was pretty confident I already knew what was wrong with the equipment, and I just wanted to verify that the logger would output the data as I expected. It was pretty great that the logger not only confirmed my initial suspicions, but the data showed another problem that easily could have been missed.